Hi guys, welcome back. Today, we've got a real treat. The iconic Retro Casio B640W. I picked this one up last year for around $22. And let me tell you, it's been worth every penny. There's something about this watch I just can't resist. Maybe it's that quirky case shape, curving gracefully on both sides, in what watch nerds call a tonneau shape. I mean, it's like having a classic masterpiece on my wrist. And the display is minimalist to the max. No fuss, no clutter, just pure retro vibes. Now, it's a little different from another one of my favorites, the Square Casio A168. Speaking of favorites, I also have the Scheme A1328. Now, this is where it gets fun. This watch is pretty much a copy of the B640W. But hey, this one's in all black, and while the case is resin, the bracelet is stainless steel. Scheme A didn't hold back with the imitation. They copied the whole package, right down to the buttons. There's one little difference, though. The top left button on the B640W is recessed. But on the Scheme A? Nope, no recession here. Here's a fun fact. Casio's actually released a new version of the B640W in all black, but with a whole new model number. It's called the LW204 and we're about to unbox it. This version keeps the same movement as the B640W but rocks a fully blacked out case and band. Sounds sleek, right? Let's get to it. The box looks pristine, no dents, thankfully. Alright, first up, we've got the warranty card. I went with a different dealer this time, and here's the purchase date to prove it. The model number is listed right here too. Next, we have the manual for module 3294, a thick little book, and sandwiched between, there's the international warranty card. Now, let's get to the good stuff and pull out the watch. Looks like everything's here, so let's get rid of the box. Time to release this beauty from its plastic cocoon. And there it is, the all-black Casio LW204. But hang on, let's peel off the screen protector for the full effect. Whoa, look at that. She's gorgeous, don't you think? Marvelous little watch. Now, let's line these two up and play spot the difference. The first thing you'll notice, of course, is the color. The LW204 is all black and has an even cleaner dial, making it a minimalist masterpiece. There's just the Casio logo at the top and water WR resist at the bottom. No button labels on the case, which I kind of like. It's got four buttons with the top left one recessed, just like on the B640W. Now, compared to the Scheme, both are all black, but the Scheme's top left button isn't recessed. That's one of the many perks of going with the original. I have to say, I'm digging this all black take on the LW204. Before we go further, let's take off the tag. Oh, and this one has a resin band, by the way. Here's the full model number. LW204-1BDF. I've been waiting to snag this watch forever, but it's always out of stock. Finally got my hands on it. The display panel is pretty small, and the rest of the face is just a black, blank outer panel. Compared to the B640W, the actual display area is the same, but the B640W is loaded with all those little imprints. The LW204 skips all that. No water resist 50 meters, illuminator, or button labels. On the LW204, it's just the Casio logo and water WR resist on the panel. And the price? Just $18 after discounts, shipping not included, which makes it $4 cheaper than the B640W, thanks to the resin band instead of the stainless steel bracelet. 
let's check out the case sizes. Both have a 35 millimeters case. Lug to lug is similar at 38.9 millimeters. Thickness is identical at 9.4 millimeters. And they both have an 18 millimeters lug width. The LW204 weighs just 24 grams because of the resin band, while the B640W, with its steel bracelet, tips the scales at 49 grams. The case itself is black resin, which feels tough enough for daily use, and the crystal is resin too, no fancy mineral glass here, but hey, you can't expect everything at this price point. Alright, let's look at the LW204's button functions. There are two buttons on the right, and the function labels are on the case back, so they're not completely MIA. The lower button is for start slash stop, and the upper one handles light. On the left side, there's a recessed button on top, just like the B640W, for adjust, while the other one is for mode. Important detail here. The button functions match the B640W exactly since they both use the same module, 3294. On the display, you'll see the alarm and hourly time signal indicators at the top left. And on the right, the date, month, and day. At the bottom, we've got the big, bold digits for the hour, minute, and seconds. It's practically the same display as the B640W, with the only difference being the LW204's negative display. Now, let's talk about the strap. It's a plain black resin with no patterns like some other Casio bands, and it's a bit softer than the G-Shock resin bands, giving it a slightly feminine touch. Luckily, there's a Casio logo on the plastic buckle, although there's none on the retainer. Here's a comparison between the LW204's buckle and the B640's stainless steel clasp. Not much else to say about the B640 here, but you can always find its full unboxing and review on my channel. Next, let's check out the stainless steel case back. First, let's peel off the dealer's sticker so we can see it clearly. Here we go. Besides the button function imprints, we've got the Casio logo, model name, model number, stainless steel back, and water-resistant 5-bar. So yes, this watch is 50 meters water-resistant, same as the B640W, even though the front just says water-resistant. Both case backs have the module 3294 imprinted. Now let's test the backlight. First, we'll look at the LW204. Nice, it's subtle but effective. Only the digits and indicators light up, with a faint outline of other indicators in the background. Now for the B640W. Wow, the whole panel lights up here. No background noise. The B640W definitely takes the win in the backlight category. Both use amber LED lights with afterglow but it's curious why they differ like this. Finally, let's check the alarms. First, the B640W. You can see the flash alert activated. Now for the LW204. Oddly enough, the flash alert here isn't activated yet. Due to the similarity in their movements, the alarm sounds are also similar.
Since both watches share the module number, they have identical features. 50 meter water resistance, roughly three years of battery life on a CR2016, a stopwatch, timer, alarm with hourly time signal, flash alert feature, amber LED light with afterglow, a full calendar until 2039, accuracy within plus or minus 30 seconds a month, 12 24th hour format, and regular timekeeping of hours, minutes, seconds, PM, month, date, and day. On the wrist, they look pretty similar, and they both fit nicely on my 6.5 inch wrist. I think that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving it a like. It really helps out the channel. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.